What's up guys? Today we got a brand new video and I'm super excited to share with you a brand new toolbox that we've added to the shop. Um, we've needed more tool storage. As you see behind me, this box is completely full, but we needed to add some other tool storage just to kind of keep everything a little more organized and in a place where it's easy to find. So we did a lot of looking around for different toolboxes and we checked different pricing and kind of the features and functions and we got the best bang for the buck in toolboxes. And today I'm going to show you that box. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen a little bit of a sneak peek of it, but we didn't really give it away. But today we're going to unveil it and show you all the features and maybe this is a box that will fit your needs as well. So you guys stick around because this one is pretty cool. All right, guys, before we get into this video, I wanna run over something real quick. Um, you get, still got a week to enter this giveaway where we're gonna be giving away this brand new Matco locking flex head ratchet. It's never been used, just purchased off the truck. The drawing will be next Friday for this, so you still have seven days to get in it. All you have to do is go to the card at the top and watch the video and it will give you the instructions on how to enter to win it. So there's still time, so get after it. All right, guys, as you see, we have the US General Series 3 toolbox from Harbor Freight. It, we did decide to go with the top box versus the hutch. I'm just not a fan of a hutch. If I want a toolbox, I need it for storage, not to look cool and keep my laptop from getting knocked off the back. Um, pretty cool box. We'll go over some features of it. Um, I'm glad they made a lot of the upgrades that they did on this box versus some of the others. To me, it seems like a very excellent box for the money. And if you have not checked these out, go to your local Harbor Freight and you can take a look at these and put your hands on them yourself. One of the coolest things that they did that is one of the things I miss most about having my old Snap-on box is they put the lock and latch system on it. If you're not familiar with that, it's where you put your fingers underneath it. It's got a rib that runs all the way under there and you pull it to the side to open it. The drawer will not open without sliding that latch over. I like this system better than I do the friction system that's on my Matco box. Um, it gets kind of sticky at times and you have to adjust it to fit your locking and you kind of have to do a balancing act, act with those friction systems because the more weight you put in the drawer, You'll have it to where it barely can't open when it's lighter weight in that drawer. And once you fill it with tools, it will just touch and fly open. And actually, when you close some of the other drawers, it wants to come open. It's just a pain. This is a better design. I like it. I'm proud they went with this system. But uh, they laid the box out really well. As you see, um, it's pretty much a triple bank box. You got smaller drawers on each side. And... I don't know if the bottom, I may have to adjust my camera, but they did give you some wider drawers on the bottom. I'll get it over here and zoom it in once we go to the bottom box. But they do have the double slides, as you see here, on the deeper drawers, and they do provide 120 pounds per pair weight limit on the double slides. So that's nice, and that way you can put a little more weight in them. Um, another thing I'm glad that Harbor Freight didn't do is add a whole bunch of little bitty skinny drawers that's unusable. These are actually deep enough you can use them and we'll go over and measure all these later as you can see. Um, 
the box comes shipped to you on a pallet. Um, ours come through Old Dominion Freightline and they'll wheel the pallet off. Um, if you don't have a loading dock, you'll have to get the lift gate service. And it's pretty easy. They just set it down. You take a pallet jack and roll it in. Once you get it inside, you pretty much remove the plastic straps that's holding the box together, slide the cardboard box off, take the plastic off, and you're ready to go. Now, the bottom box will come on the pallet, and it will have two foam blocks under it. You get the keys out, unlock the drawer, and it will come with a wooden ramp. It's easy to roll off. I did it completely by myself. I didn't have to have any help. And all you have to do at that point is to put the handle on. That is super, super simple. It's two bolts. It's an Allen head bolt. Simply stick it in, tighten it up, and you're good to go. One thing I will want to remind you, make sure you put the handle on the caster side that swivels, not on the static side that doesn't because you have to change them around. That's kind of common sense, but it seems to be a mistake a lot of people's made. So be sure to put the handle on the caster side. That way it's easier for you to guide it around. But um, what we did on the top box is we removed the drawers and I had a buddy of mine, we set it up on the bottom box. We did decide to leave the rubber mat here and that way it wouldn't scratch it up. If we ever wanted to change up the scenario later, we can, because my thoughts were if I ever wanted to use this for a mobile toolbox that you can roll around, kind of like a roll cart, we could take the top box off. I've got a big heavy duty wooden table. We could put this on to use there <clears throat> and then we could use the top of this box for work surface. So let's get the camera in here and we'll take a look at the bottom box and kind of go over all the features and functions of this box. Um, it does have a tubular lock system. One turn of the key will lock all the drawers at one time. It's not like a lot of the other boxes that you see on the market where you have to flip the little lever to keep the drawers from coming out. And the only thing locks is the top. When you lock, this lock, it locks all the drawers at one time. It's a great design, way better than having the little flip switch in the back. Um, the center drawer does have the double slides. I'm gonna have to move the camera. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm actually putting my fingers behind the back of the drawer. So you do have full extensions of the drawer on the top box. A lot of your cheaper boxes will open and you will have a couple of inches behind the drawer that's underneath and that way it's kind of it's not really unusable space you just have to manipulate things to get them out i like that the drawers come fully extended very nice touch so um great box the bottom box does come with a power drawer in it and that way you can charge i believe it's got five electrical outlets and some USB outlets. So that's great. The top does have two of the gas struts on it and it does have a pass through system. So you can knock that out and put your chargers up here if you choose to do so. Between this and the power charging power drawer that they provide, it's a great system. Um, they've done a good job designing this box. The back of the power strip that's inside um, it does have a breakaway plug on it, so if you've got it plugged into the back of the wall, it will unplug from the back of the box without damaging your cords, which is a great thing because I've done it with this box, forgot to unplug it because I've got two power units in this one. I forgot to unplug one when I went to move it to clean behind it. And uh, it's a great feature that it will unplug. Very nice, very nice. So let me get the camera over here and we'll take a look at the bottom box. All right guys, so you can see it does have a very wide top drawer. It's got like a double bank top two drawers on it before it goes back into the triple bank on the bottom. In my opinion, it's a great design that we have plenty of room for your sockets and your wrenches and stuff like that. Um, double slides on this drawer, which is great. And that way you'll be able to put all your sockets in one drawer and that way you don't have to worry about overloading it. Let's talk about the drawer for a minute. You have four and three quarters inches depth on this drawer, so it'll be plenty enough to take care of your deep sockets, and all that stuff. Um, the bottom box, the 
the back of the drawer comes right to the edge so you're not really losing any space. If you decide to put deep sockets on the back, you may have to tilt them forward to get them out, but it's a little different design than what they've used on the top box. This one likes just a little bit, just a little bit, about three quarters of an inch come in full extension. So let's talk about the width of this drawer. This drawer is 51 and 7 eighths wide. So almost 52 inches wide and you do have 19 and 3 eighths depth front to back of usable space. It's very nice. This is a single slide drawer. Um, this will be perfect for your wrenches and stuff like that. Or some of your longer extensions, like if you've got a transmission extension such as this one here, um, it's a half to a half. I also have a half to a three eighths, but an extension of this length is kind of a pain to try to put in my Matco box unless I put it in the top two or three drawers that are wide enough. Um, this one would work in there perfectly fine. But then on the bottom, it goes into your more narrow drawers. Once again, single slides. This gets back into the triple bank part. This drawer is 37 inches wide and your side drawers on each side. The left side is 12 inches and I assume the right side will be the exact same. Obviously this is the power drawer. We'll cover it in a second. Yes, 12 inches as well. And then you do get a deeper drawer at the bottom. All right, so here is the power drawer. As you see, it does have a plastic chain type protector for the power cord that runs to the back of the box where it's got the pass through, where it's got the breakaway cord. It's very nice. Um, there is a flip switch here on the front of it to cut off the one, two, three, four, five, six. 120 volt passes and it does have some usbs as well extremely nice setup with this this is exactly the same kind of charging system that's in the matco box as well as the snap-on box with this plastic chain that's right here it's very nice to have that and on the bottom you have another deep double slide drawer that's going to come in perfect for all your pullers and your heavier stuff like your one inch sockets and etc. A lot of your heavier cased items, this is going to be great for that. All right, so moving on, the bottom drawer is gonna be a double slide drawer as well. That way you'll be able to put a lot of your heavier stuff here, which is really nice. You have another double slide drawer here and then back to your singles on these. All right guys, so that's pretty much the layout of the box. Uh, let's talk about how wide the overall box itself is. It's going to be 71 inches um, from outside to outside on this box. And depth wise from the wall out, you're looking at 21 and a half. Um, your storage space up here is going to be six and three quarters inches deep by 67 wide. And you're going to have, I would assume around 20 inches. You got a full 21 up here for storage. So it's really nice that the box is this size for the price. We're gonna cover that in just a second of what this box totally cost you to have at your place. Um, they did a good job on the badging. They look really nice. Um, it looks just as nice as any tool truck box badging that you'll see. It's got the US General over here, sort of a black chrome, black shiny gloss plastic, whatever you wanna call it. Um, US General on the left and the series three is on the right and each drawer has the the little foam 
protector pads that are already pre-cut and installed. Super easy to put this box together. Um, like I mentioned, you will need to remove the drawers if you want to put this box up there, unless you were Hercules. If you got Hercules and you got the Hulk to help you, you can leave the drawers in it, but I highly recommend taking them out. But I'm gonna show you a trick that I learned that's gonna make it a lot easier. These drawers are super simple to take out. Unlatch it, open the drawer. You're gonna see these little pull tab doohickeys here. It's just a little plastic piece sticking out. One's going to push down, the opposite side's going to push up. So this one pulls up, so that means the other side goes down press it down, the drawer just comes out. Now to get it back in, the easiest way is to push the slides all the way back into the box, just like it, the drawer's closed. And you simply, what we did is we stacked them all up in order um, on the pallets that it, the bottom box come on. And that way it was really easy to put them back together. You simply put this back in here, line up the drawer slides where they need to go push it in and voila easy as that super simple I'll do it once again up on this side down on this side pull it completely out push the drawer slides in while I got this in I do want to show the camera that this box is fully painted on the inside it's not just you know superficial not a raw finish, none of that stuff. So to put the drawer in, push your slides back in, line it up, voila, easy as can be. You can do it with the slides out, but they're gonna kinda wanna try to move around a little bit as you see when you're trying to line it up, especially when you're doing it by yourself on these wider drawers and the double slides make it even harder. Push the slides in, life will be way easier on you. But anyway, guys, that's the video on the box, all the features, all the rundowns, and why we chose this setup versus going with another tool truck. I mean, you're saving pretty much 30 grand here. So anyway, we'll go over to the other camera and we'll talk about prices the weights of everything. We'll talk about the total, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it all, let's go. All right guys, after watching the B-roll, you definitely know that we went with the US General Series 3 box with the top box on it. Um, quite frankly, not everybody wants to spend the price of a new car for a toolbox, and honestly, it's a ton of money that you're gonna spend for this versus the Harbor Freight box. Now, obviously there's some trade-offs in it because you know, the, like the Matco 6S has a deeper box. Um, it has more weight. It's designed for a more of a professional setting, if you will. Um, but the Harbor Freight box, you know, the bottom box is designed to hold 6,600 pounds of tools, providing you with 29,700 cubic inches of storage space. Um, it is a 14 drawer box. The double slides will hold 120 pounds per set. So it's gonna give you a lot of weight per drawer. Um, it does have the six inch casters on it and the box on the bottom comes at $1,799. Obviously that's cheaper than you're gonna pay for a roll cart off of a tool truck. And not everybody has access to that or wants to carry that weekly payment or monthly payment or shell out fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars just for the bottom box. Um, obviously, I went with the top box on this just because of the fact that um, I'm not a fan of hutches. I believe that you have the same storage space pretty much as you do on top of the box because you're not really adding any tool storage to it. And before you guys comment hateful stuff, I understand if you work in a shop, you want a place to lock up your laptop and stuff like that. Trust me, I know. Um, me personally, I just don't see the value of a hutch when you could have storage on top. Um, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know this is the fourth box that I've had that has the top box on it. Um, Bill was a fan of hutches. I'm just not really a hutch guy. 
you know, every, to each their own. Um, but the top box um, itself, it is a 12 drawer box. It comes in at 25,300 cubic inches of storage space and the top box will run you $999. Um, you know, to each their own, I know there's gonna be a lot of hateful comments on Harbor Freight, but you know, so far the Hercules brushless line has been tremendously awesome for me. The black six drawer roll cart that you guys know that I have has held up as well as my snap-on roll cart. You know, it's all about kind of how you take care of your stuff. I mean, obviously if you beat the crap out of this box, it's not gonna hold up either. You know, guys, I'm just looking at the total fact that if you're looking to add some tool storage, you can spend $32,000 like the box that's behind me, you know, or you can spend $1,799, pretty much $1,800 on the bottom box and $1,000 on the top box. You know, for less than $3,000, you can be in a 72-inch box that's going to suit most of the general public's needs. You know, um, there's a lot of hate on it, you know, and I really don't get it. You know, there's a lot of tool truck lovers. And obviously, if you guys see here, I'm a huge fan of tool trucks as well. But there's also that fine line of what suits your needs and what's best for your family and what works best for your budget. Because at the end of the day, if you need tool storage and you can't afford a tool truck box, you know, a, a Walmart hyper tough toolbox will beat a five gallon bucket. So to each their own you know you guys can comment whether you like a top box or a, you know a, a hutch uh me i'm just i'm not a fan of a hutch you know they look cool but i can set the crap on my box just like i can without the little three-sided piece of metal wrapping around it but anyway um they're super nice boxes they're extremely extremely heavy um if you do purchase one of these with the top box I highly suggest that you take the drawers out, have a buddy help you because it does weigh quite a bit. Um, super easy to take the drawers out as you guys see in the video. And honestly, um, you know, I, I don't see two guys picking that box up with the drawers on it, but great box, super easy to install. The ramp that comes with it makes it super handy to unload off the pallet and pretty much you use two hex screws to put the handle on. Um, make sure you put the handle on the swivel side, not the static side because then you're going to switch it. But I mean, if you want your handle over there and it's harder to turn, hey, that's, <laughs> that's totally up to you. Do what you want to do with your box at that point. But you know, I just feel like the Harbor Freight U.S. General Series 3 fits the needs that we have to accommodate the boxes that we already have here in the shop. And the white matches pretty well. I would like for them, you know, to come out with some blue trim options later. You know, I think it'd be super cool for them to have an interchangeable trim system where you could change it to whatever color is your favorite color. Or if you get tired of one color, you can switch it out. Um, that would be really nice, but who knows? Harbor Freight's always innovating and changing and making products better and keeping the prices more affordable. But anyway, that's my video today, guys. If you have not entered the Ratchet giveaway, be sure to go to that video and follow the instructions in the video, and that way you can get in to win because somebody will get drawn next Friday on this channel to win that brand new Matco Locking Purple Flex Head Ratchet. And we will ship it to you free. I know there's been a lot of scam issues with companies sending people stuff. And I don't even know what a Telegram app is. But apparently somebody's got one and they've made it under my name and they're trying to scam viewers. Anytime we do a giveaway on this channel, you will never be asked to pay for shipping or any money up front. And everything will always come off of this YouTube channel only. So keep that in mind. We plan on doing more giveaways in the future. We're gonna do quite a bit of them coming up. Um, I'm probably not gonna advertise them like I did the last one just because it's a lot of stuff that comes in there that is not relevant. And um, I kinda wanna keep it just for the guys that stayed loyal to this channel because you are the reason why we have grown to the numbers that we have. So going forward, we'll do some giveaways. Um, I'm not going to put giveaway in the title, so if you don't watch it, you can't win it. Simple as that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you check out these U.S. General 
Series 3. It's hard to beat them. Guys, like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check down in the description. We've got some new links for merchandise. If you haven't checked it out, we change it quite often. There's also some discount codes and stuff for you guys. And if you're not subscribed, it's super, 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 super easy. All you gotta do is click that button and you're in. You guys have a great weekend. See ya.